First, the facts on the ground. The Appalachian Trail, or AT, is 2,193.1 miles long, stretching from Springer Mountain in Georgia to Mount Katahdin in Maine. It takes from five to seven months for thru-hikers to complete the AT from end to end, carrying food, bed, and housing on their backs. Truly a great test of endurance and character. There's definitely some days where I'm like, I need to get out of the woods. <laughs> But um, they say don't quit on your worst day, so just take a day off and rethink some things. But along with the hardships come random acts of trailside kindness, something hikers call trail magic. Trail magic is when you are not expecting it, but you just stumble upon uh, food, drink, water, it can be anything, anything that a hiker might need. Generous souls known as trail angels might leave a cooler full of Cokes or a plate of chocolate chip cookies at a trailhead. But through hikers in the Berkshires know that something extra special is waiting for them at the Route 23 crossing in Great Barrington. We're doing a ham, egg and cheese on a bagel or we have like a cheesy bean quesadilla. Hot food, cold drinks and fresh baked treats as much as the hiker can handle. Trail magic is free, so a hiker does not have to pay a penny to come here and eat as much as they want, drink as much as they want. Mark and Sue Sarah bought this old barn near the AT with the express intent of turning it into a way station for weary through hikers. We're working out of coolers, you know, we don't have any refrigeration, so we tried to put together a couple offerings where they can get some protein, some carbs, everything they need for the trails. The facilities may be primitive, but after 1,500 miles and three months on the trail, this old barn could pass for the Taj Mahal for hikers like T-Bone from Ontario, who, like most on the trail, identifies herself by her trail name. Oh yeah, this is like the best thing ever. I know like when I'm coming down a mountain and I'm passing someone going south and they're like, there's trail magic at the trailhead. And I'm like, okay, like it just like puts a boost in my step. As important as the food and drink, a friendly face and warm welcome, according to Napa Know How from Memphis, Tennessee. Rolling up to a gap with trail magic, man, that can flip a switch. And just seeing somebody with a smile on their face can uh, be super cool, man. Thank you so much. Sue and Mark searched for a trail magic site up and down the entire Appalachian Trail before finding this spot, just a short drive from their home in Douglas, Mass. Turns out this old barn was built as a memorial chapel after the Great Barrington Tornado of 1995 to honor three students who died during the storm. And when we first saw it, it needed so much work that it, it seemed daunting. But when we opened the doors and went inside and realized what it was, I swear to you, there was this feeling of the three souls just saying like, thank you. And that's when it turned into the Trail Magic Chapel. On this day, hikers gathered at the Memorial Chapel are abuzz with rumors of a celebrity coming down the trail. Sure enough, Bricky shows up around lunchtime. Bricky's been to many places and treated probably better than a lot of through hikers have treated themselves. Weighing in at three and a half pounds and flashing some serious trail bling, uh, Bricky has been making its way up the trail from Georgia, carried by eager volunteers like Sweet Relish, originally from Lunenburg. The man I got it from said, wow, this thing is getting annoying. I wish someone would take it. And before I knew what I was saying, I said, I'll take it. Bricky is known up and down the trail. It even has its own Facebook page where its northerly progress is closely monitored by a legion of Bricky freaks. If there's ever a time where it goes like, like AWOL or missing, <laughs> there's people that are like, someone tell me where the brick is. And so as Bricky gets passed along on its way up to Maine, so too the Sarahs are determined to pass it on. Sue, the avid hiker in the family, knows firsthand the importance of trail magic to the tired hiker. Mark, a media manager, not so much. I'm an avid endorsement, that's the joke. This is a part of life that I didn't know existed till she turned me on to it, and um, I'm starting to well up here, but I love it. 
I, I wish more people could come out here. Who's next? We encourage people to just come sit with us for a day, meet the hikers, listen to the stories. That yeah, it's like great. restoring my faith in humanity, honestly. <laughs> like, <laughs> everybody's so nice out here and they're just doing it out of the kindness of their heart. Like, it's so good. <laughs> So if hikers pay nothing for the food and drink, who's footing the bill? Well, Sue and Mark to a great extent, but they have a GoFundMe page as well, which you can find on the Chronicle website. At this point in the season, the vast majority of northbound through hikers have passed through the Berkshires, so the Trail Magic Chapel has closed up for the year. Meanwhile, at last report, Bricky had made its way to the top of Killington in Vermont. Updates available on Bricky's Facebook page. Coming up, preparing for life after incarceration.